Hey, Chad here from Grayscale Gorilla, and in this quick start video, I'm going to show you how to get HDRI Link Plus up and running with Arnold. Okay, so we've got Cinema open here. We've got our field of bike pedals going off into the distance, and we want to add some HDRI lighting to this. Try about try out a couple different looks before we land on something that we like. So let's get started. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is go up into the Arnold menu, and we're going to grab an Arnold light, and we could choose a Sky Dome light, or we could choose an actual Arnold Sky. It's really up to you. For this demo, I'm going to use Sky Dome Light. That's totally fine. Now the next thing we need to do is add our HDRI Link Plus tag. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to jump over to our tags and grab HDRI Link Plus. But there's a couple different ways that you could get to this tag. You could also right click and add it right there as well. Another way might be to jump over to the Grayscale Gorilla menu and hit Grayscale Gorilla, oop, I mean HDRI Link Plus tag right there. And the third and probably the coolest way is to use the commander, which is going to be Shift C. And then you're going to type HDRI link plus, hit enter, and there you go. Now the next thing we need to do is connect our Arnold Sky Dome light up to our HDRI link plus tag. And the way that we're going to do that is grab our Arnold Sky Dome light, come down to the color parameter, and we're going to drag that onto our HDRI link plus tag, and we're going to let go. And it goes from gray to white, which means that it's all connected up and ready to rock. You know that it's ready to rock because now we see a nice little bitmap here showing up in our Sky Dome light. Cool. All right. So now we need to open up our awesome plus library where we can look at all the awesome H drives that we have and textures, all that sort of stuff. So a couple different ways you could get to that plus library. One of them is to just double click this tag and it's going to open up the plus library for us. And another way to do it would actually be to grab the tag and come over to the base tab here and hit open plus library. And then another way you could do it, I know there's so many ways, you could grab a plus library from our Grayscale Gorilla menu, or you can even use the commander here and just type in library, boom. And there you have it. All right, so let's dock this at the bottom, kind of get everything up here and make some room for the library here. And uh, yeah, just take a look at all the amazing H drives that we have. And we want to be able to iterate these, iterate through these really quickly and try about try a bunch of different looks. And the way I'm going to do that fast is by going over to our tag here, our HDRI Link Plus tag, and come over to the Advanced tab and change our resolution from Full to Preview, which is just going to load in a slightly smaller resolution version of these HDRIs so that we're going to be able to tap and click and just try different looks really quickly. If you want this to be the default uh, going forward, you can always just come up here and say Edit and set that as default, and that's going to remember to set that resolution as Preview as default for you. Okay, so let's jump into the Arnold IPR and get something moving here. Let's grab an IPR window. It's going to go ahead and start it for us automatically. And let's toss that into the side here. Perfect. Okay, so now we're ready to just kind of click around and maybe find an HDRI that we think works for us. Maybe we want an indoor one. We have an outdoor. The outdoor one looks pretty cool. One of my favorites, I think, is probably in the modern industrial. One of these offices is pretty sweet. I might bring up the, uh, I might bring up the intensity of that just a little bit to bring the exposure of that sky dome light. Cool. And of course, we have Pro Studios Metal, which are kind of built for making this stuff look good. So I'm going to grab one of those, and maybe we'll rotate the sky dome light to find the right angle. Maybe something where we see that kind of coming into the background there. Oh yeah, that looks pretty cool. There you go. And in Arnold, if you don't want to see that background, uh, you can just bring the camera contribution to zero. It's really kind of up to you. So yeah, I mean, now you can just kind of tap around and find stuff that, that you think might look cool. Let's try maybe some of these Paradise ones, which are outdoors, kind of sunny day stuff. But maybe we want something a little bit more studio, so the Pro Studios Metal would work, or we can grab maybe one of our Pro Studios and try to find something that's a little bit more studio lit maybe cool these are fun too the i love the graffiti one oh, that's a good one all right let's go back to one of the ones that i was digging which is going to be pro studios metal i think it was down here i think it was this guy cool so if we like this one and maybe we want to use it uh you could just grab that tag and swap it back to full if you need that full resolution not a problem and then, of course, if you're ready to rock, maybe send this to out to a farm or, or whatnot, you can just delete this tag, and it's just going to leave the, uh, the image that you last had loaded right in there for you, so you don't have to worry about it. 
All right, so uh, yeah, there, there you have it. I mean, there's really not a whole lot else to do here. We've got it all set up. We're good to go. Um, yeah, we, I hope you enjoyed the video, and by all means, check out all the other training that we have around HDRI Link and Area Light Maps and all of our lighting tools. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one.